Dear all classmates, welcome back to the form modeling chapter. We are going to introduce our first form model, the StockCAD form model. This figure shows a classification of many form models. In the first category, the high level form model, it can be functional level form model or RTL form model. In the second category, we have gate level form model, which models defects in between cells, such as stock cap 4, region 4, transition 4, and etc. In the third category, we have transistor level form model, which model defects inside a logic gate or intracell defect, such as stuck on fold, stuck open fold, and etc. In this video, we will start from the stuck cap fold model. Single stuck cap fold, SF4 model, is one of the earliest form model that has been proposed in 1961. A single stuck cap fold means that one signal line in a Boolean network of logic gates is fixed to logic 0 or logic 1 independent of logic values on other signal lines. The single stuck cap fold notation is like this. For a node x stuck cap fold, it can be written as x slash 0 or x slash 1. Somebody also writes it as S at 0 or X S at 1 or S A 0 S A 1. The above three notations all indicate single stack at fold. The number of single stack at folds is linear to the circuit size because we have two folds. Per node, which are stuck at 1, 4, and stuck at 0, 4. So for a circuit of n nodes, we have totally 2n single stuck at 4. Single stuck at 4 is the most commonly studied form model because single stuck at 4 is scalable for large circuits. Here is an example of single stack cap 4. For a 2 input and gate, we have totally 6 folds. They are A stack at 0, A stack at 1, B stack at 0, B stack at 1, C stack at 0, and C stack at 1. This table shows all 4 input combinations. The four free outputs are shown in this column. And uh, in the six columns, we show all the faulty output with the erroneous output highlighted in red. We can see that all six faults can be detected by at least one test pattern. If we have a test set of three test patterns, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0, which are row 2, 3, and 4, then we can detect all the six faults. So we have 100% single stock cap fault coverage. We can also see that the minimum test length is 3 to achieve 100% single stack half for coverage. So now let's revisit the quiz. At the beginning of this chapter, the manager asks you to pick only two patterns. Now, based on the single stack half for model, which two patterns do we pick? And what's the maximum for coverage?
Have you got it? Yes, you can pick 1101. So the test set would be one one zero one and the uh, full coverage is one two three four five five detected four over six four which is much better than our previous choice if we choose one one zero zero the full coverage is only 4 out of 6. So now you know the importance of full model. In a good circuit, we think that fan out stem and the fan out branches are always the same. However, for a faulty circuit, this might not be true. Single stuck F4 on a fan out stem is not equivalent to single stuck F4 on its fan out branches. For example, in this circuit, we have one fan out stem, node E, L and F are its fan out branches. This table shows 8 input combinations for A, B, and C. This column shows the output good values and the 6 columns shows 40 outputs with E stuck at 0, F stuck at 0, L stuck at 0, E stuck at 1, F stuck at 1, and L stuck at 1. We can see that the erroneous output are quite different. E stuck at zero is different from L stuck at zero. E stuck at one is different from F stuck at one. So faults on fan out stem and faults on fan out branches should be counted separately. So, for this example circuit, we should have six independent faults on this fan out. Now, it's a time for quiz again. For the following circuit, how many single stock head faults are there? Have you got it? Right. It's 18. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 circuit nodes multiplied by 2. So we have 18 faults in this circuit. You might wonder that we can have more than one stuck at fault in a defective circuit. That's right. Multiple stack F4 model means that more than one signal is stuck at a logic value in a circuit. So, how many multiple stack F4 we can possibly have in a circuit of n nodes? Please do not count the single stack F4. Have you got it? This one is actually a little bit difficult. If we think about every node in the circuit, it can possibly have three states. Stuck at zero, stuck at one, and don't forget, we have a good state. So totally, in a circuit of n nodes, we can have 3 to the power of n different combinations. If we don't want to count single stack at 4, 
we should deduct it by 2n. And don't forget we have a good circuit. So we deduct it by 1. So this is the answer. Obviously, this is an exponential number. So there are too many multiple stack at 4 in a circuit. This is not a good four model because it is not scalable. Fortunately, single stack at 4 test set can detect many of the multiple stack at faults. This slide shows experimental results performed by Hughes in 1986. The purpose of this research is to evaluate how effective single stack cat test set is for multiple stack cat 4. They use 14 input ALU as the circuit for experiment. It has 400 single stack cat 4 and almost 80,000 double stack cat 4. They apply 16 different test sets. This row shows the number of undetected double stack cat 4 which means the smaller the number is, the better the test quality it is. We can see that for the last four test sets, they do not have any undetected double stack at fault. That means they detect all the double stack at faults. From this experiment, we can have two observations. Number one, some shorter tests are even better than longer tests. For example, test number 3. It has only 12 tests, but it is better than the test number 9, which has 14 tests. So we know that smart test generation or test selection is important to improve the test quality. Observation number two, most of the double stack at four are detected by single stack at four test set, but there are very few exceptions. This slide shows why a double stack at four is not detected by a single stack at four test set. Suppose we have a tree of exclusive OR gates. We apply four test patterns and uh, it has 100% single stack at four coverage. If we have a stack at one for F1 here, the good output is 0011 and the 40 output is 1010. So we can detect four one. Suppose we have another stack at 1, 4, F2 here. Again, we can detect this 4. However, if we have 4, F2 and the F1 together in the same circuit, in this case, the good output is the same as the 40 output. So we cannot detect the two faults. This is what we call fault masking. For F2 mask for F1. If a test for F1 fails to detect F1 in the presence of F2, when a test fails to detect a fault it is supposed to detect, we call this test invalidation. In practice, for masking happens very rarely. It is trouble more for diagnosis than for testing. In summary, in this video we introduced the stack at 4 model. We learned that number of single stack at 4 is linear to the circuit size. It is a scalable 4 model. On the other hand, multiple stack at faults are exponential in number, so it's not very useful. 
Four masking means two faults cancel out each other, so the test is invalid. Now it's time for full for saw. We mentioned that four masking degrade the test effectiveness, but does four masking degrade the single stack at fault coverage also? Thank you for listening.